Hey everybody, it's Lou. Welcome back to another episode of LMTV and Off Grid Adventures. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Wanted to show you some of the things that uh, we've gotten done and some new items that have come in and are getting ready to go into Optimus. Now this is the new air conditioner unit. The old one's still in there. You saw it's kind of gross and crappy. So picked this up from uh, my buddy Eric. Uh, he worked out a deal with another friend of his and we got this. I just finished painting everything gray to match the rest of the interior of the truck. I took this all completely apart. Uh, much better system. It sits a little bit deeper into the truck, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. Better vent system on here, but again, now we're going to have AC, which uh, is going to be a huge plus in the truck. We're still waiting on some more of the parts that are coming in from a friend of mine uh, to get installed to Optimus here. Then we'll go ahead and do the full tear out and put this in. I didn't want to go ahead and start on this yet because from what I understand, there's a couple of things you have to do in order to get this unit in. There's some airlines that have to be moved out of the way. Uh, there's some other ducting that has to be done. So once the parts get here, then we're going to dive into it heads on and just get it done all at once. And then we'll bring it over to the shop and have them fill it with Freon. I did get a bunch of questions over the last couple of days and some emails, and I wanted to clear some things up for some, for some people. Everyone's been asking me about what these are here on the truck. These are guards made for the CTIS system. These protect the valves from getting knocked off by a rock, a stump, whatever it be, because as you can see, we've got one mounted here right now, and we'll take a walk back here to the back of the truck. So everyone that knows what a CTIS or doesn't know what a CTIS system, it allows the truck for me to air up and uh, inflate and deflate the tires as need to be for the terrain. This is the hosing system here that fills the truck. The air travels through the axle, comes into this port here, goes through this little uh, flapper valve and into the tires. Now what I'm talking about, if you knock one of these off or rip this little nub right here, which is just your normal everyday valve stem, if we can get this one off here, it's on pretty good, uh, right here, you are out of luck you're gonna have a flat tire you're done you're not moving and one of our buddies that has a uh, vlog here on YouTube as well did just that and thank God he had the ingenuity he found another stem and was able to uh, fix all that change it out and get himself back in the road because they were stuck up in the middle of the woods I'm not gonna say any names that person knows who they are but again good thing he's got his uh, knowledge of these trucks and knew exactly what to fit now, they are available on our famous auction site. You just got to keep your eyes open for them. But what really stinks is these things went from being about $25 for this little ring. It's not little. It's pretty good size. It's almost 16 inches across. They used to be $25. Now they're closer to like 100 bucks a piece. So, again, it's one of those things you want to spend the money and protect yourself from having a flat in the middle of the off-road. And I can assure you that a tow bill or having somebody come out to fix that out there or changing a tire, you'd probably be saying to yourself, I should have spent the 100 bucks per tire and gotten these things. Now, for the people that uh, are buying the six-wheel version, the five-ton, obviously you have to buy f uh, six of these all together. But again, that's what they are. Every, like I said, people have been asking me, uh, you know, what are those funny rings on the, the tires? But they are CTIS guards. Again, they protect the whole system, so you don't have to worry about knocking that little valve off, and you can stay going on your way for that. So, again, a little bit of progress here on the truck. You know, this again, this is the fun stuff that's happening now. Uh, hopefully, we'll get the air conditioner unit in here, and then we'll redo our air brake system, get all this hooked up, back into the truck, running, and we'll be on our way to finishing up the interior of the cab. So again, hope you liked the video. Keep the questions coming. Keep hitting the subscribe button. If you haven't, hit the like button. Hopefully everyone likes them. And we'll keep bringing good quality content to you. And again, if you want to get a hold of me, shoot me a message. I'll send you my email address. Uh, it's already in some of the vlogs. So if you want, go back and look for them. Leave me a message as to what you're looking for or whatever it may be. I'll send you a number to reach me here at the shop. Again, I've had a few people message out to us and very interested in us actually building them a truck. If you do have a uh, concern or question or if you wanted me to build you a truck, by all means, I'd be more than happy to. Again, hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave a message. I'll get back to you. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll talk to you soon.